Hello everyone, Clear Sky 5.1 is out and in this video I will show you how to install and use this version um, for EV and in this video I will use Blender 3.1 because uh, actually Pure Sky use EV don't work with Blender 3.1 ok so first go to edit Francis and uh, click to uh, sorry click on add-on install and go to the location where you download the version of Pure Sky select the file and click install now you can enable close this box now you can close and restart blender And you can open your project file. Now you can click here of Pure Sky and in uh, this part, you can click on EV Pure Sky Pro. Okay, now the sky is add to your project and you have this result. Okay, EV is very different for. for uh, uh, of uh, of uh, uh, um, sorry of the cycles uh, um, volume work uh, completely is very different okay very different sorry and to have a good result for volume as you can see here if you open this tab uh, sorry work property when you use here in uh, you the default the default the clip start view you can see the, the the result for the cloud is bad but if you add for example 10 you have a better result so we add this button on the tab you can click here for uh up for default 10 meter view this or this okay so as you can see here you have a better result but when you go to your scene you have, you have this okay you have this scene is cut by the view okay this is a EV bug enfin EV limitation we actually have this limitation as you can see to use for large pen can have this result and for example if we press to walk mode and move like this of this result and fly jump to Okay, and in this part of the panel, you can fix distance max view and uh, volume. Uh, if you want, you can fix more low volume, navigate more fast, and here uh, volume shadow, okay, and okay. So you can use now the set tab one to change. All this. one you can disable from uh, example of cloud of this
Okay. And now in cloud, use a different preset. You have here. And if you go to this tab, no altitude cloud, you can play with cloud. And X X okay. Um this part of the tab, all this part all this option is if you enable this option you have uh, automatically well this value fix the cloud wind force for example if I fix this to one On this, you can see so here you have the wind direction, uh, location, a random, not random uh, position. Okay, take the axis. And if you if you want to have a better cloud color for day ten, you can use this setting. Okay. Okay, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, you can join the Discord server and and contact us. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.